I think BTL continues to perform better than expected. I mean, we have been uh, meeting our targets. The board has challenged management on a five-year plan, and management has been meeting those projected numbers, uh, thankfully. We have pursued aggressively cost-cutting uh, exercises, and we have continued to deliver uh, bundles and packages that the public have accepted and appreciated. So that has been basically our strategy uh, over the last couple of years, and I think that the improved returns uh, speak to that. I think consumers have already been seeing a lot of benefits. Um, we believe in, in giving value to our subscribers and that is why we are successful. And the packages and bundles that we continue to offer um, gives our customers and consumers a tremendous value. So I, it speaks for itself, no? History can show um, that uh, the returns, and I think here, you know, our finance people can give you those precise numbers, but we've made significant improvements. Um, our return on equity has improved, hit the targets. We've set a five-year, when we came in, we set a five-year projection uh, where we said we would go from eight to 12% uh, return on equity over the next five years. We've hit our, eight, our first target, which was 8%. We've hit our second target, which is 9%, and we're on track to hit our next, our, our next target, which is 10% for next year. So we're, we're, we're focused on, on, on uh, giving value to our shareholders and, and, and having that shareholder confidence um, that we can give them a fair return um, on their investments.